to ask you for raising my salary. Daddy yells at me day. every time I spend money on anything. Do you feel like we're successful yet? It's time to have deep conversations. Hi, Sephora family. I'm Mona Catan, founder of KLE Fragrances, and today I'm with my dad, Dr. Daddy Cool, and we're gonna have some nice conversations about what inspires us. Inspired by beauty with Sephora. We're in the City Walk branch in Dubai. It's so beautiful, and we're getting ready for Ramadan. Ramadan. How do you feel now seeing, you know, me, Huda, Alia, you know, after all these years of hard work and determination, finally feeling like we are successful and we are inspiring the future girls and boys to follow their dreams like how does that make you feel and do you feel like we're successful yet because <laughs> it took a long time <laughs> a little a little bit <laughs> i am really proud and happy of course for Thank all you. your success i think this is a result of the pushing you yeah by me of course i push a lot you pushed a lot yeah, i push a still lot push. Yeah, yeah. Still push. <laughs> i'm still like important. i'm still wondering That's if you think important. we're successful yet we launched the brand in 2013 i think it wasn't until like 2018 that you felt like we we're okay i remember for the longest time you're asking me like when are you gonna get a job <laughs> and i was like i have a job <laughs> so what advice do you have to other parents if their children are feeling like they don't know what they want to do but they want to try something new I think the parents' the duty is very big. If they are not ready to, su to support their kids, they should not have kids. And the responsibility is very big, mm. I mean, for the parents. Of course, you need to be very careful with your, their child. You should mm -hmm. not actually have any pressure on them during, let's say, from till seven years old. Well, the yeah. forming years, the while they're forming year. their... And their after mind. seven years, to, of course, they Variety. go to the school, uh, elementary, secondary and so they should be very close to them. The best thing yeah. for the kids at this age, mm. till let's say 18, is the time of the parents, not mm. the money. Which moment did you stop worrying so much? <laughs> I know you still worry, but which moment did you stop worrying and you thought, okay, my girls are okay, they're doing the right thing, they're on the right track. When did that happen? Are, are you, or do you not feel that way yet? <laughs> still waiting. <laughs> You're still waiting, I thought so. <laughs> Business. You can run it, but there are so many unexpected mm. things, and we should not worry too much. Yeah. Leave it with the. With God. With Allah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. For me, I feel like yeah. um, the moment I really felt like, okay, we've we've made it so far, and like I felt like there was a turning point was um, when Kaylee started to succeed because you know for me I was always supporting Huda from day one for Huda Beauty, but I was like more supporting her for her dream. It was her vision, her creative direction. But for me, Kayali's always been my dream and it's my baby and it's my vision. And it took time for it to succeed. It took a few years actually. And that was when I really felt like, okay, wow, this is something that I'm really proud of because it's something that I'm passionate about. And it's something that I feel is my own vision. And I'm excited about the journey ahead. What Kayali did through this five years, let's say, mm. is great. Oh, baby, six That's years very, almost, Very, very, yeah. very actually successful. We have many things to come in. That's right. Yeah. Surprises. Yeah. yeah okay, so for people who don't know this, Daddy actually smells all of the KLE perfumes and he gives his stamp of approval. He helps, he has the best nose and he's very passionate about fragrance also. So stay tuned, there's something very exciting I coming. I will ask you for raising my salary then. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> He gets commission. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, Baba, what is your favorite memory of me and our childhood? In the town of Tennessee, where we were in Tennessee, they are actually competing the kids for the beauty pageant. And she was actually winner of two states, Tennessee and Kentucky, as a beautiful I think baby. that's where the obsession started with beauty yeah. and getting glam yeah, yeah, doing yeah. makeup doing hair because At the age of six I think no, five six three to seven three to seven three to yeah, seven yeah. yeah from the Category, age yeah. three to seven you I was in beauty pageants big trophy yeah. so that makes my habit in yeah. America for me my favorite memory of my childhood with you was actually like a few things but they're all very simple one was feeding the ducks in Can Creek Park mm -hmm. I had yeah. so much fun yeah and then the other one was going to your office in university and playing with all your stationery <laughs> with Hido. We used to play together. Yeah, yeah, yeah and we'd take all your coins from your drawer and buy snacks. <laughs> <laughs>
I would love to know if you could share, you know, a moment in your childhood that inspired you to work hard, what pushed you, what drove you? My childhood was very tough because we actually are born in family, they struggled financially, and I didn't have choice only to be a good student. So this is one incentive to That's make why me you're such a nerd. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I say I don't have my father would not support me to go to college, so I need to get some good grade average to have a scholarship from the university. And this is what happened. How old were you when you got your first job? So at the age maybe 10, 11, I used to work very hard and to make some money for myself. So that will actually help me to see the, actually how in the future to handle any situation. Any tough situation, I think is not tough for me. Hadid. Hadid, yeah. That's my dad's my, nickname, yeah. Hadid. We call him Hadid because he's very strong like steel. <laughs> not now. <laughs> no, you are. For me, I remember um, growing up, I think around the age of 14, you told me, I have enough to provide for you your needs, but anything you want, you have to get on your own. Excellent. And I love that you said that because it made me very driven. And I remember I got my first job at 14 and I know you didn't want me to work at the time because you were saying focus on school, focus on school. But I love that I got jobs from high school because it made me able to multitask, to plan my time well. And it also taught me so much about business and people. So I, I really appreciate yeah. that you created that, you know, drive in me to work hard and also to know that, you know, I can't depend on someone to spoil me. And I, I appreciate that actually. I think it was the biggest gift. So you finish finance and then you're switching to beauty. Uh, what actually led you to go switching from finance as your degree in the, at the college? to the beauty. I'm so happy that I studied finance. Of course, I was forced by my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't excited about it at the time, but I do appreciate that you encouraged me because I think that it gave me a great understanding of business and it gave me a great understanding of numbers, which is so important. Uh, but I always loved creativity. I love to create. I'm very passionate like you. So I think that creating a beauty brand is the perfect mix of two worlds. It's using your, your math side, the numbers, um, the logical side, but also using the creative side. So I always dreamt of starting a brand, but I didn't know what before. So it took a long time, but yeah. finally here. Yeah. <laughs> so Baba, yeah. you started your YouTube channel a few years ago. Few I'm so proud ago, of you yeah. because it's amazing to see someone start something new all the time and be open. What are your tips for people out there who want to start content, but maybe they're not feeling confident, they need some ideas, or they feel insecure? What is your advice? My advice always to be positive first and inspire people by actually give them some good knowledge or think true things. Just TikTok. stay authentic. Yeah. Be very stay authentic honest, and, stay authentic. And actually to be supportive so people will like you. Or if you do content that's not true yeah. and genuine yeah. to yourself. Yeah. For me, I would say to everyone out there creating content, um, I know it's very competitive and it's hard to get traction. Some people are lucky, like one out of a thousand people or even one out of a hundred thousand people are lucky and they get content like, traction fast. But most people have to keep going for sometimes years until someone discovers them and they go viral. So I'd say be patient, be consistent, be authentic, and don't let any negative comments affect you. Exactly. If people are negative, the block button is there for a reason. Block, people. delete, and protect your energy and have fun. It's all about exactly. having fun. Well, thank you so much, Baba, for joining me and excited to start another Ramadan with you and have a beautiful month full of peace and inspiration. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thanks for joining. Love you.